I wish I knew what she said. It's probably her son's name. Or his new name. What he goes by now. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! She's getting intense now. All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. No. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Case. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Wasn't him. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Norman. Oh, he's having one of his moments. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, mm. one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Overindulge in... will end up killing you if you're not careful. Oh, fuck. That would be most unfortunate. The augmented reality. Because it's probably like a neural link or something. It'll just absolutely destroy him. Clues. Clues, clues, clues. Something new that we found. So we gotta work quick then. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Analyze. I don't know how much time we have. Play? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know where to stop this. The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Shit. So what if we continue playing? Okay, let's not do that. What about the gun? Okay, the, the tracks are nothing. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Maybe. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? It's not a cop. What? Can we do a geo-analysis? Fuck. Okay, that's not gonna work. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. That doesn't get us anywhere. Shit. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's work quickly. Nothing here. Clear. What else do we have to go on? Files. The leaves are falling. Something's happening in here. Origami killer. The killer is white. Age between oh, three and Oh, not again. Oh, we did that already. He's intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Open. No, 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 no. I wanted to open that. <laughs> Not put it away. Come on. Come on. Open. Nothing there. Geoanalysis? There's got to be something in the clues. Clear. No, clear. <laughs> it opens when I don't want it to, and it... <laughs> clear. What are the clues? I think we're running out of time. What's that question mark? Yeah, there's like a storm. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Analysis impossible. Oh, no. There's gotta be something in the video. Where's the video? Okay, there's got to be something in the video. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Ooh. Oh. We can ask her who gave it. We can ask her who gave his watch. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Okay, we got the watch. Just analyze. Let's make sure... Oh, we gotta stop. Stop. We're done. He's fucking bleeding from his eyes. Let's go ask about the watch. No, we gotta continue. There's one in that area. Um... Clues... Fuck, I'm pushing a little too much. The music's, like, getting more intense. Now 
else is impossible. I think we got no we're done we're done that's it he's not looking too good <laughs> we got to get out of here it's gonna kill him I I can't go on didn't solve it. Fuck. That pisses me off that we couldn't solve that. <sighs> I'm not even sure where we're supposed to be running to. Oh, the trailers are on the corner here. Yeah, there it is. Fucking Scott. Ooh, <laughs> that gave me the chills. So that's Scott. He's got like the same jacket on almost too. So it should have been a giveaway. <laughs> oh, it is, because he's got the picture. Oh, that was him reliving the moment. Getting rid of the evidence.
He's trying to erase all evidence. So that that was him. In the coat. Everything that he investigated, he was getting the evidence that they all had on him. Sly motherfucker. She's at his apartment. What? Fuck. Touch girl. So she can pick a lock too. Okay. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Bedroom, maybe? Excuse me. Nope. Look again. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. We gonna find some evidence. There's definitely not gonna be anything in the bathroom, that's for sure. Fake wall. Guys, I really don't know what we're looking for here. There's nothing in there either. Kitchen? Kitchen. Wait, what about the... Oh, the burnt garbage can. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Nothing. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Uh, 
there is something here. What the fuck? Ooh, Madison found something. Orchids. He grows them himself and everything. Okay, but we still haven't found the location, though. Shit, it needs a password. John. Fuck. Origami. Oh my god. Shepard. Get out of here, come on. Max. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. That's right, what we should, <laughs> should have guessed that? that first. An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, That's it. there's no time to lose. Yep, that's him. We gotta get out. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Uh-oh. He's burning down the fucking apartment, isn't he? Got to be something we can use. Way too high. Oh, fuck. What about the shower? Come on, Madison. Wait, what? No, this way. To the door! Okay, we're almost there. Come on. Ooh! Uh-oh.
No, 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 no! Ah, oh, come on! Okay. Okay. Follow the path. There we go. Fuck. Oh, way no. Too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I don't jump. Else. Throw the... No, don't jump. Wrong button, wrong button. Come on, Madison, get up. We're at the door. We're at the door, we're at the door. Oh, of course, it's locked. Wait. Tell me we can hide in the fridge. Hold on. Tell me we can hide in the fridge. We can. Get in there. Get in there. I don't know if that worked. I hope so. I hope that worked. <coughs> Fuck yeah, she made it. Always the fridge. <laughs> somehow, somehow, some way, we did it. I am not complaining. Call Jaden. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy. Jaden's the only one that He's doesn't know. He's the only one know. I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Jaden's the only one that doesn't know because we couldn't figure it out. And Ethan's with him. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. You got all that? Hold on, how did you... No, please, I'll explain later. You can call my newspaper, the American Tribune. I'll tell you who I am. Please hurry. Sean Mars may still be alive. Probably the best, the best thing we can do. Because Ethan can't do anything. He, he's, he's locked up. No way we're playing as as Sean. A drainage pipe somewhere on the floor. Somewhere here. Oh, right there, at the end. Sean? Sean, hang on. I I'll get you out. Find Sean Mars. He's stuck in the well. He's drowning. Quick, help me get him out of here. Ugh. Oh! Shit. 
Where is she running? Oh, Jane's knocked out. It's gotta go after them. Holy Christ. Hang on, kid. I'll get you out of there. Shoot it? Yeah. Oh no. I didn't press those. Come on, I did. Come on, we made it, we made it, we made it. We did it. Ooh, shit. Don't tell me he died. Don't tell me he didn't make it. He didn't make it. No way. Oh, you're okay, oh. Sean. You're oh, okay. <sighs> you're safe now. You're safe.
He's got a vest on, doesn't he? He's gone. He's gone. Okay, so they all made it. The police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Organi Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery and tenacity of Norman Jaden, an FBI profiler brought in to help local police. State-of-the-art technology and his own investigator's flair allowed him to track down the killer. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Okay. Okay. You're free to go. Dad! Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. You'll never leave me again, Dad. I promise, son. I never will again. about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week. 
and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good. is a good thing that played bad music There he is. Scott Shelby. Scott, the serial killer. I mean, what he did got to him. Like, what else can I say? <laughs> I'm a father too. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. But before we cut, I want to wait till the end of the credits, just in case there is a trophy that pops up, unlike last time where we stopped the recording a bit too early. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing after the credits. However, let's check the trophy that we did get and see what exactly that is. Save the kid. Save Sean. Okay. There was another one, too. Heavy Rain Hero. Finish Heavy Out. Well, yeah, that, that's a bronze trophy. So. Complete the story with all four characters alive. Four heroes. So, it looks like we did not get the best ending, unfortunately. But I mean... I mean, Scott's not really... With four characters alive. Oh, maybe that's not Scott. Maybe that's uh, the girl that drowned in the car. I'm not sure. See all endings, gold trophy, of course. But, um, but yeah, guys, so we save Sean. That seems more of a, a neutral ending, I would say. It's not the best, it's more on the best side. So, 
I'm going to keep the title of the series the same, you know, best ending playthrough or walkthrough, just because the goal of the game was to save Sean, and we did. I guess they all lived happily ever after, I, I don't know. But we did get a good ending, I'm happy with that. And yeah, guys, that was Heavy Rain. We got a good ending. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. Let me know if you guys got a different ending in the comments below. Maybe you got a better one. Who knows? I'd love to hear it. Yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all later.